Merry Christmas. Let me, let me, let me get the fish. Today we're going to be doing a food review. We're going to go see, or we're going to try, we're going to see if these are better than these. I already think I know who's going to be the winner here, but it doesn't matter because I got these for free anyway. Mind your business. Let's, let's go see what happens. Happy Christmas everyone. Yes, I had to do a quick wardrobe change so I can continue with our food review to see if these ready-made cheddar biscuits, to see if these ready-made <laughs> cheddar biscuits are better than the ones that she had to make. Like I said before, I believe these are gonna be the ones that are gonna taste better, but you know, you never know, looks can be deceiving. Uh, I'm gonna read the instructions real quick. It says that you have to preheat your oven for 350, which I already have going. You should hear it going off sometime during this video and uh, leave it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Unlike these beautiful, miraculous loves of my life, you have to make everything and then preheat your oven to 425. So we're gonna do this one second while I prepare this one. As you can see, they already come pre-made, although they don't look that appealing, but these are what they look pre-made. Packets. Yes, bread topping, bread topping. So yes, the same one. I believe this one comes with the same packing, but uh, don't take my word for it. Although I don't know why they need two. And this one has one and they make the same amount of biscuits in the long one. So I'm gonna open these up and I'm going to place them on a cookie or a baking pan that I have here. And I'm going to use all of them because these things don't last long in the house. And once they are made, they go by pretty quick. That's that. Eight comes the package. And as you see, they are beautifully splayed out in the cookie. Well, they really were beautifully sprayed out in the cookie sheet. Uh, I'm gonna realign those and uh, we'll be right back so I can make the other ones. Okay, hold that on. <laughs> Look at me with another wardrobe change. But yes, now we are back for round two uh, of the Cheddar Biscuit Challenge. And now we're gonna see about the ones that you make. I honestly think these are gonna taste better because you know you gotta put some a little love into it. You gotta put some you into it. Anything that you gotta do to mix it all up and make it all good and pretty and whatnot, it's always better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our box and I'm gonna show you what's the content of the box. We have our batter. Once again we have the same package the garlic herb blend as opposed to the ones that are pre-made is called garlic bread topping and this is the garlic herb blend this is the one i don't even see it from the pre-made package but 
But anyway, this is the pre-made package. This is the one that came out of this part too. <laughs> so now I'm going to open up this lovely sachet of beautiful deliciousness. As you can see, it's the batter. We're gonna put it in there slowly because I don't want all this stuff getting in my face. Oh, in there anyway. I'm just spitting all of the bread, <laughs> but it's just me, so it's okay. And then, you know, I like to sift the dough first, you know, so it reduces clumps. It asks for a three fourths cup or three and a quarter cup of water, which I'm gonna pour in here. I like to pour and stir. Pour. And stir. because nobody really wants to do this. I actually like doing this. You know, it's relaxing to me. Now, before I pour in the rest of the water, uh, the recipe calls for a half a cup of cheese, which I have right here. See, half a cup. Half a cup of cheese. Really does work. <laughs> Learn something new from those makeup tutorial people. I should do that. Do you think I should do a makeup tutorial too? I mean, I am a pageant queen. That's right. I am filled with surprises. I am currently Miss Florida, American Beauties National. Uh, we have a uh, pageant coming up in April, held in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, it won't be in Atlanta, Georgia this year. It's going to be in Roswell. I think no, Rawlings, Georgia. I can't seem to get it correctly, but um, I will leave the information if you're interested in attending, competing, or you know, just want to support, or to the same as attending or um, attending. But I'm gonna add the rest of the water. Cause you want a dry biscuit, you know. And make sure everything is combined. is me if I get boogers in my dad's batter. Don't worry about it. It's my boogers. It would have been, ooh, her hands aren't clean. It's just me eat them. Maybe, but hopefully they won't be watching this video. Or maybe that one will just be my biscuit. And then once we have our batter all mixed and beautiful, and it kind of looks like scrambled eggs, but Whatever. Now we're gonna put it on in 
our baking tray, well, or glass container, and it's supposed you're supposed to scoop out one fourth cup for each biscuit. It's supposed to yield about eight biscuits, but we're gonna see sometimes it yields six, sometimes it yields eight. I like my biscuits you know, big, so I'm gonna see what this is. Looking like if I can get it out. Again, this is me eating these things, so they could be ugly. You're not gonna be pretty. You gotta be pretty. They gotta be pretty at all. When have you ever seen a pretty cheddar biscuit? Unless you know it's pre-made. So that's one cheddar biscuit. silicone scraper so I won't have to go do this the whole entire time because this is gonna take a while. But you know what? This is what this is how the love this is how the love gets spread through your food because you know you actually gotta touch it. You gotta you gotta touch your food. You know you ain't never reached out and touched your food. Mm -hmm. If you don't touch your food it's like you're not good at seasoning things and we're not gonna go about that. But yes, uh, let me go get my metal, not my metal, but my silicone scraper so I can take these out and it won't take so long and it creates less mess. Hold that thought. Shout out to Tabitha Brown. I love her. <laughs> like so like that. <laughs> yeah, put me in here making up these good old cheddar biscuits. Although they're not vegan, they're gonna be vegetarian. Because all you gotta do is put a little butter and a little cheese on there. That's right, a little butter and a little cheese on that there. <laughs> My family is plant-based. So we like a little butter and a little cheese. It's for the holidays. And that's my business. I love her. Her and Donna. <laughs> I have my own version of Donna underneath this hat, but we ain't not gonna talk about that. I know I'm supposed to be using my silicone scraper, but like I said, you gotta put a little love in your biscuits. If you don't put love in your biscuits, or any type of food that you cook, it's not gonna taste right. It's just not, it's not gonna taste right. I remember when I was a little girl, I used to sit down around and watch my grandma make biscuits. She probably mad at me because I'm using a box recipe and not, you know, actually measuring everything out from scratch, but sorry grandma, times have changed. <laughs> I love you though. May you rest in heaven. <laughs> We're gonna probably have two, four, six. Yeah, we're probably gonna have six biscuits as opposed to the ones that are already made, which yields eight biscuits. Because I like my biscuits a little bit on the thicker side, <laughs> not my biscuits thick. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with a little thick biscuit now. A little thick biscuit. 
this one actually takes me a little time to make. Maybe I like this. You know, you, 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 I know you need to take your time when you know you're cooking, but sometimes when it comes to certain things, you, you need to take your time. You know? That's why they make all these songs about you know, baby, take your time, do it right. I just showed you my age, but it's a good song though. matter just like little booties matter <laughs> so yeah so yeah so this gave me about six biscuits as opposed to the ready-made which gives you eight biscuits these in the oven probably it's gonna take about 30 to, yeah about 30 minutes so we'll come back when it's time to taste all right and then it's gonna be fun so we're gonna taste it I already have something cooked up so we can see if the pre-made ones taste better than this one and then as I'm doing that I'm gonna get the butter ready and I'm gonna put it on there and let it get all sopped up and good and then we're gonna see which ones are better all right, we'll be back. Hold on. All right, it is time for the big reveal. You see, these are the ones that are you had to make yourself, and those are the ones that are pre-made. All right, so they are already out of the oven, buttered, glistened. These are the ones that are the pre-made ones. These are make sure I got the box right side up and stuff. These are the pre-made ones. Of course, as you can see, the ones I think are going to taste better, these are the ones out of this box here. Now let's see. Okay, so now I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. These are the pre made ones. Ooh, it's hot. See the steam coming off of that? Look at that! Ah, ah, ah. Look at that! Ah. Now respect that! Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I'm one of them hard-headed kids. You know, when you give them something fresh out the grease and like it's hot, they're like, because you gotta, you know, like Kay Hood says, you gotta activate the air conditioner in the back of your throat. I don't see that now. when you gotta put your, your whole, you gotta actually touch your food. When you gotta touch your food, maybe I'm biased, but I believe you gotta torch, you gotta, you gotta touch it, you gotta reach out and oh, your food. So here is the one out the box. Physically in tune with your food. Although the machine ones are okay, but 
like this right here. The cheddar biscuit mix for the win. It's flaky, a little crunchy. much better if you don't believe me we gonna ask my mama my mama's gonna give us a review too you ready me here hold that thought so now we're gonna ask my mama which one is better this the ready-made ones or the ones out the box <laughs> that's the ones that's ready made. I'm over here putting my fingers all in the food. And this one is one that you have to prepare with these here. You gotta torch it. You gotta put the love in it. Alright, go ahead. Make sure you try the one you haven't tried ever. Okay, we're gonna try that one. That's the uh, ready made one. The ready made one. Okay. So you didn't make this one. You just kind of put, put it, it in the oven. Took it straight out the box. Okay. Then no. we'll dry biscuits. Okay, then let me try this one. Alright. It's not even a contest. <laughs> so, the ones that you gotta reach out and put your love in. Yeah, these are the, these are the flaky ones that are you know, like buttery, buttery and wonderful. Mm -hmm. And this one is just like a big biscuit spoon. <laughs> well, there you have it. The ones that you gotta reach out and put the love in is way better than the prepared ones. Although it does take time to make the ones that uh, you gotta reach out and torch. Hands down, you gotta make them yourself. Tastes better. But you want things done right, you gotta do it yourself. I am Chrissy CEO, and this is the Biscuit Challenge. Ooh. All right, Merry Christmas, everybody! Happy Christmas! Bye.